Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Better Than Heroes. This is episode 11 of Arc 2. What? I know. I'm Rachel Weeks, and I play Click, the level 7 Joel Torkreen fighter. I'm Andrew Overdahl, and I play the human bard flute, a.k.a. the Wind Rider. I'm Jordan Dahl, and I play the Moon Boy, a level 7 Moon Boy. Aaron Urist is who I am, and I play Kai Hammerstein, the Artificer. I'm Harlan Kelly. I get to be in this now. I am everybody else. <laughs> you are God. In just In just a few minutes, we are going to play some 5e Spelljammer-inspired Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. But first... Our show is brought to you by Big Top Productions. Big Top? It is live no! soundtracked by the wonderful Jason Wardell and directed Jump! by Case Drury of Tiger Moon Productions. Yes. Well, and now, what we're going to go into last week's recap. Oh, man. Last time on Better Than Heroes, after arriving on Mungabwe, a moon of the planet Glyph, the crew was escorted by their Ortling contact, Aldos, to the back room of a tavern called the Demon Slayer. There, they met Lady Arabella Nix, Talon's half-elven sister. A great deal was revealed to the crew. Nix, Talon, and Aldos were all members of a secret organization called the Fourth Ring, which worked to oppose a great conspiracy to destroy reality by sabotaging the very artifice of existence. The Meridian Tract had faked its own destruction and had a three-day head start on the dinger to find Leloon the Moon Girl. She was stashed in Ventress's vault upon Grandchild, one of the many moons of Garden, Kai and Click's homeworld. Though three days behind their enemies, Nyx spoke of an illithid secret portal on Glyph, which could take the crew to Garden instantly. They began hatching a daring plan to reach the planet's surface undetected by stealing an illithid ship belonging to Lord Sodo, a Mind Flayer dignitary. But before they could finish, who should arrive at the Demon Slayer but Lord Sodo himself? What will we do now? Are the Mind Flayers on to us? Can we reach the Moon Girl before our enemies? Find out right now on Better Than Heroes. Yow! Ooh, what, an in, all, what an insane amount of information for all that so happened. Much. I know. Was <laughs> yeah. I there for that? I love it. Huh? And what Ooh. happened last time? And we didn't go, even go intro, anywhere right last here. Time. Good job. Are we? Are we? Um, yeah, without the, without the recap, it's just a quick, we, we're quickly in here. Okay, so here you all are. Talon's sister is has retreated back down before any of this happened, before there was a knock on the door, before the bartender let you know that the Mind Flayer Lord of Soto was here. She's gone back down this hidden pathway. You are still in the room with Aldous, the Ortling, floating, legs crossed, hands crossed. Um, also with you is Talon, your human friend uh, with a me one mechanical arm, one organic arm. And there's tension in the room. You could, All the players can feel it. No role necessary from both Talon and Albus the Orkling. And the bartender has offered you drinks and, and then immediately is like don't want any besides these refills okay and he just like hands you the tray of drinks and uh like walks back away as to not arouse any suspicion from him it's this haggard dragonborn who is the bartender so but he doesn't true. he doesn't seem to be uh he's not like Away no, remember I I anything? paid him extra to tell us if widowers came in, That's and right. so he brought he... us the drinks to tell us that two widowers cool. came in with Lord Asoto. So he's actually <laughs> helping us out. 
but yeah. Before he even made it in the door, I had looked after he knocked through uh, Besna's eyes, so I also mm -hmm. told everybody, like, he's mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So, yeah, so there oh, was a, a pretty here. quick exchange that hid you all from him, but still notified What's you. he doing? What's he's he doing? He's got some creepy Goliath puppets. Uh, I'm going to point to that hatch. It's kind of cool and scary. It is uh, nice, cool. that's scary. Ask Aldous, uh, where does that where does that hatch go in the floor? Um, the or like That's a good question. To uh, the temple that uh, Nix runs. He looks at you and goes, "Wow, Talon, you really didn't tell them anything about you." Yeah, you trust oh, her so much, he kind of like how, says off to himself. How long we does tried. it take we to asked. reach the, the temple through this passageway? How long does it take to reach the temple? Um, I mean, not, I don't know. I usually float through it, so I don't hit as many of the uh, snares as usual, but probably like 20, 30 minutes. So what would go, we're going to the temple? What would going to the temple do? What good is that? How far is us. the temple from the dock where the ship is kept? The one that we want uh, to steal? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. That's... Everything on Ngabwe is really in this strip, so it's about a mile... It's really a walking sort of a town. From one it's side super, to the other, super yes. Super walkable. <laughs> no, we do not rope any animals into public transportation, pulling a cart of people from one side to the other. We also have not invested in... He kind of, like, starts a spiral and stops himself. He's like, anyway. Mm -hmm. yes. No, um, there's no time. I want to talk about city planning, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I do. Look, I my, really do. I, every every second second of every day, I'm finding it back. The, the, the bartender, Iron Tooth, helped us out. What if... What if we bribe him to get this Lord of Soto good and drunk? Maybe uh, he'll be a bit easier get to, drunk? to do they convince. Even, what do they get drunk on, man? What uh, he, came to, he came to a, a, a bar, I don't know. That's I don't know, true. maybe he just likes to luxuriate around all of them. Well, maybe we just want him know. for a second. Uh, I'll ask this okay. or, uh, okay. do Do mind flayers get drunk? Uh, before I answer, Andrew, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to give you inspiration for remembering the bartender's name that I just made up last session because <laughs> you yep. Yep. pressed that encounter and you really <laughs> dug in with this bartender and then you came out of the gates knowing his name. So you can have inspiration. Yeah, um, Beautiful. That's that love bard it. charisma Paying right off. there. Paying off. I love it. I thought, I thought about that character warmly over the last week. So, um... Um, but yeah, not thing... to metagame, I will quickly explain to my colleagues, if we can get him drunk, then perhaps we could sway him into just walking us back to his ship and... He's a, bit, but he's a mind flayer. I've been reading about them. They're not... They don't show you around their ship without expecting something in return. Your brain... Get the mind flayer drunk had not occurred to me. Is it a thing? Is it possible? Yeah, does Aldous know this? Um, I'm going to have him roll a history check to find out. I'm going to set the DC of 15, and I'm going to roll it, and I got a 13. And he's like, ooh. Does Kai mm. know anything about mind bad uh, alcohol toxicity? Yeah, I mean, Moon Boy's the one that's been Obscure obsessed fact. with them. Yes. I guess, I guess if any of you, if any of you can give me a reason why you might know this, and, uh, then you can absolutely roll a history check. I can be, I'm pretty lenient. What was your answer? I'm Kai. <laughs> <laughs> My I'm just saying re it feels not impossible that he could not. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he is in a he is in a bar. Why don't we just watch for a second and see what he orders? And I would I would say you know the Moon Boy has been delving. Pre he's been late nights on Wikipedia doom scrolling about <laughs> mind flares. Yeah. Okay. So I think he might. I mean, um, okay. But yeah, I we think, have the party room and it's locked, so we could just wait and watch through Bessner's eyes and see if he starts drinking. Uh, are we I are we just skipping drink, the part where we, watched, where we steal him, this ship? <laughs> I watched him order a drink. Right, or we could just, I mean, we could slip out the Do back we need and just him? go. Can oh, we wait, just go? Don't they leave I a bunch of guards ship. on the ship? Like, we'll have to... 
We'll probably yeah, have probably. to like combat. Or, or That's a... I could pretend to be Ventress. Yes. We wrap all, his head up. All we'll... injured and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We have. Kai I could make him look like that. I could make him look all himself messed up. As battle damage Ventress, we have him wear the ring. Yeah, but the ring takes an hour. The Listen, ring takes an hour to a two. I'm just saying the ring. We don't have an hour. We have an hour. We'll do it. Isn't it ten minutes? We'll put him on the ring. We'll say that he he's Ventress, but he's been conquered on the noggin with some sort of a space weapon, and that's why you can't read his mind. And we need to get him to grandfather. What was it? Grandchild. Grandchild. Right away, because that's where his. <laughs> spare brain is I don't know I haven't how, but that's how does he explain that's where his secret vault is you know? how does he explain the rest of us being along for the trip we found him we're his hench guard I turn I, yeah. or are we prisoners prisoners hench guard do we guard. do like a, like a Chewbacca moment you know where <laughs> where like we have or just like, like they're on the, the team they're on the team now yeah, we found Yeah, I mean, him. We, we sort of have established a reputation. I don't know how much they're going to believe that we're just like, oh, yeah, we're, yeah, friends, we're friends now. now. Well, yeah, then we'll right. kill them. <laughs> we have to do something. Maybe we should just try and get where well, well, we know where his ship is. Yes. Maybe we should just go out the back, like Flute said. Flute Irish, Rider, whatever. goodbye. Um, yeah, I mean, you see. perhaps we could get him drunk at the bar and then go. Just be like, yes. hey, load this guy up and then out the door. Slip the then Irish at least, And then, then the Irish busy. hello, which is where you steal their car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you see Talon is kind of like wringing both of her hands and just like w listening to you all. And every time someone puts forward an idea, she's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to like kind of like everything, just kind of like listening uh, and waiting for you to lead the way. Okay. Um, and Aldis is listening to you all, and he says, He does, um, when he comes into town, spend a lot of time here. He likes to make his presence known. So if he has shown up here, he will probably be here for at least an hour. I don't know if he ever gets drunk, per se, in the way that humans ingest alcohol and make poor decisions, but um, <laughs> I can say that no judgy just, not, well, just, not just <laughs> humans <laughs> fair <laughs> um, uh, but I, I can't say that he he gets riled up, but I wouldn't say that is um, well, we'd Dry. like him less riled on the riled sort of scale. gets off um, on carousing. The moon boy, uh, as you guys are doing this, he uh, he begins casting hallucinatory terrain. I would like for it to, if somebody opens this door, look like nothing but a huge canyon and a, a yawning abyss in this room. Okay. Uh, cool. So, yeah, I like that. 150 foot cube in range. I am so, not, I'm not doing that whole thing. Just this room. Just 10 minutes. Right. Well, I was just I was just looking. I was just like making sure that like it could like, engulf the room. And a 150 foot cube can definitely like engulf the room. I'm going to start um, tuning to the to that ring. I like that. I'll Let's like get try the hell and out do of it here. fast. <laughs> It'll take know. an hour. It takes a short rest. It's do you an need hour, to yeah, attune? Can design. you just okay. can you just wear it? Can I do it fast? Can you just wear I'm it a like magic a... man? I think I'm gonna stick hard to the attunement rules yeah. just because that's kind of pushing it. But um, emergency uh, attunement. Yeah, you you can definitely. Well, he stays start in there for an hour. We can wait. We can just kick it if, on the floor. If we here. want to go that way, uh, I'm not gonna cast that spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I sure. not? That's totally. a big. That's a big spell slot. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, you're going through stuff, trying to make a move. So, yeah, I guess what's the plan? You can continue to observe I, him. I you think can, either okay. we like, engage him and try to deceive right. him, Listen. or we slip out the back Listen. and try to steal his ship. I've got the. We should try to deceive him until that ring is working. All right. Well, we could spend yeah. the hour that he spends here carousing. With me what? concentrating on the ring. 
What exactly yes. do you have to do to a tune? Can you can you walk in tune? Can you can, can you, you like, put your feet on autopilot? You can't do any actions. You have to okay. be just like chilling. Yeah, can it's, we it's fitting the hour in... focusing on that thing? Sure. Okay, okay. but we could potentially. Can yeah, we but you could you could walk him? while doing that, right? I would say what no. About, if you, like riding in a cart, yes. Walking down the road, no. What about this? We have Ventress Rapier. Kai can look like Ventress. Once he's attuned to the ring, he becomes Ventress. He takes the three of us captive and gags us so we can't talk and even run the risk of lying to this Mind Flayer. And then he asks for a ride to the vault because he needs to see this moon girl at once. Or we do that same plan, but we just go out the back door right to the ship, and we he does the Ventress, and he says, look, I've caught these three. I need the whole ship, everybody off, and we just take it, and we don't even have to get close to the Mind Flayer with don't... our brains. This... Will, will these Mind Flayer gods obey Ventress? More than a f freaking Mind Flayer would, I think. Uh, Talon pipes up and is like, um... I mean, I don't know. Al like, Aldous knows a lot about politics. Like, would, if Ventress was, like, back all of a sudden, would they listen to him? And Aldous is like, hmm. It would take some uh, political pressure. As in, like, he would be throwing his weight around. I, I, they wouldn't automatically w listen to him, but if Ventress it showed up and said... Look, Sorry, all I'm trapped. saying if is we have... A better chance of tricking a bunch of goons than we do a freaking brain eating mind creature. But aren't his Ventress. goons also brain eating mind creatures? Yeah, they might be. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, I thought Aldous that's how says, they were explained last time. How, how far is the. How yeah, far is Aldous will say um, it's, a, it's from. Do you only know one place to dock spell jamming ships which is where you all docked so that for the demon slayer to the docks is uh less than a mile it's probably like a thousand feet depending on where you parked your mm. spell jammer ship uh, so you could that, see man. it from like the edge of the docks it's the f literally like the first thing that you walk into is like you oh. see the big demon slayer bar um so okay. but aldous will say like more often when when um when Lord of Soto comes, he brings the big ship of theirs as a, a show of power. And uh, I've never been on it. But uh, I have talked to those who have, and all that I have talked to have said there has been at least another mind flare upon the ship. So, mm. at, at least, I, I am not sure of the staffing right. of mind flare right. ships. All right, all right well. Well, it seems either way we want Kai to attune to this ring, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's going to get any safer than this room. So, if and you're going to attune, take, I'm, I'm working it'll take on him it. an if hour. If I have to break it off, then I will. It'll take him an hour. What if I, what if me and someone else venture down to the docks, just take a look at the ship and the situation. We'll come right back. Should be a round trip in less than an hour. Yeah. I don't think we should split. I just don't. You're talking about splitting the party, man. Just going for I a just, walk. I just don't think it's worth it. It's too dangerous. Why? I think we, we have should. the sending stones. If one of us runs into trouble, what? we'll just. Nobody. We'll just call nobody. The others. Like we haven't done anything that makes us bad yet. Like nobody's nobody's they worried about us. They just told us we're all famous. Yeah, yes. but not in like a. <laughs> I don't know. Bad way. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't think anybody would see us and just cause pick a fight immediately, would they? Certain people would, for sure. No, well, I don't know. Maybe we just stay here and watch you look at a ring. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, not saying we, it's going to be exciting. No, we definitely <laughs> need to do something. We simply can't have another one of these episodes, guys. So, <laughs> I think we go. I think we need to move toward the dock. Uh, I don't think being here with a mind flayer locked in a room is a good idea. If anybody has a better idea than going than following this passageway, 
speak I now. Am, or well, I Lord of Soto stays in for an hour. Yeah. If we go to the dock, he doesn't attune to the ring while we walk, which means that if he, even if he starts attuning to the ring when we get to the dock, he won't be attuned by the time Lord of Soto could come back to leave, in which case we will be scrambling to lie to him with zero yeah, this is all mind kinds protection. Of what ifs? This is we we gotta we gotta do something. I think, but mm-hmm. that situation the ring is the crucial X factor the, the that lets ways. us lie to any of these mind players. Okay, and well we then we can't use it unless start, we chill out for an hour. Then we should start attuning it right away. I, I, I yeah. am. I'm doing it right now. Okay. The uh, the clock on the hour has already begun. If I have to break it okay. off, I will. Okay. Well, yeah. maybe flute, you go talk to the bartender and see if he can keep that mind flare in the building as long as possible. Is that something we can ask? I mean, if you have a conversation in that room. I think we should assume that Mr. Mindflayer hears. Sure. Yeah, we don't know his his range. Yeah. Yeah, and that's true. Not to mention the fact that he could literally be listening to all of this right now. That's yeah. true. What is best? What, is can, I, can I look? Yeah, can I take a glance through Bestner's eyes? Yes, absolutely. Um, guys, I, I feel like the need to say, I am riveted by this. And I think you all, <laughs> don't, don't. The planning is good. It's very good. So don't feel like you got to push it forward because you're balancing a lot of things that are important. So that's not a hint. I'm just saying it's it's good for me. Um, so yeah, you can kind of like you know flick into Besner's Besner's eyes as he um, has perched amongst the rafters of this bar in this little ma- mechanical hummingbird that is your familiar and. You can see Lord of Soto is standing there at the bar. Uh, and when I say standing, it, it is clear to Bess, to you, seeing through Besson's eyes, that he is floating above the ground, not sitting on a seat, just kind of like floating in place, holding this goblet that he is, or this like kind of a glass uh, pipe, sort of, uh, that he seems to be drinking a liquid from, um, uh, that he came in with. And there are two Goliaths and uh, next to him. And if you would, he seems to be engaged, though not speaking, with mm-hmm. the the bartender and the Dragonborn bartender. And the bar you hear the bartender speak. You can hear through Besner's uh, ears. The bartender speaks, and it's just kind of been like, "Yep, yeah, you're right." And but Soto has never. Sp- speaking so you can hear but if you'd like to roll a perception check i would love for you to he's doing brain things with them that's what i would expect him to do it would be weird if he was like he's out there just crushing it at the match game <laughs> he's matching all of the touch screen things with his mind uh dirty 20. 20. Dirty 20. Oh, 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 oh. um the goliaths look identical and i don't mean like identical Ooh. twins they both have uh, very almost, uh, sn- it's like white, gray uh, like tone to their skin. And they have bright white tattoos all across their body. And the bright white tattoos are identical as well. It seems like they're, you know, every inch of them is identical. Sure. And is... one, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, one of them seems to be, listening and kind of like reacting and every once in a while be like yep also yeah i too agree with that and um the other one is just standing stock still looking forward not moving or reacting at all sure kai is sitting catatonic looking through besner's eyes in the other room and he just says clone army (laughs) <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either. He's getting his kicks in a weird way out there, man. Yes. This guy's a creep. Maybe we could order him something. Maybe we could order him like a... Maybe they have like a, a brain in gin the brain of an alcoholic so you think it's wise to flirt uh, with a mind bri- player right now <laughs> well, I one know writer's brain please I'm flirting with him 
<laughs> stop sexualizing the moon boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I just you're the one talking about here sending a longer. drink to a mind player. Well, to get it drunk so it stumbles or waits longer or. This is know. from the winking gentleman on the corner. <laughs> I have something in my eye. <laughs> Uh, our next merch item is going to be a picket sign that says "Stop sexualizing." The moon. <laughs> sexualizing the moon boy. How about just a T-shirt um, that says "Don't sexualize the moon boy" with an arrow pointing down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so the plan is to stay here, attune, then leave out the back. Am I, think I so. right? Or, or out the yeah, front, wherever you want to leave. But at least if one of us will front, have their we, thoughts. We're going to have to talk to the, yeah, to the mind flare. I mean, mm -hmm. if we Not want to go that route, we go out the front. If we want to go out the, if we want to avoid him, I think we go out the back, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, listen, guys. Definitely. I bought him a drink, and I he touched my knee. I think we're going to go back to his place. <laughs> And I think we've got this all worked yeah. out. Let's in decent proposal, Moon Boy, to Lord of Soto. That is a third option. Yeah. <laughs> no, the wheels, the wheels are moving on this thing, man. The offer the Moon Boy is a carnal plaything. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's not the worst this, idea we've had today. Sure, it's the, it's the kingpin. <laughs> Besner sees the cat. Uh, Besner, uh, if you are, well, you're not still through his eyes, right? I don't know if I can do it the whole time while I'm attuning. I'll, I'll get. Then I'll give you this too. Like as if if you are. I'm checking in periodically. Let's say. Yeah, that's. I'm. If I'm you'll cool allow that. that. Totally. Totally. Like you can do it indefinitely. So you can kind of like flip in and out. Like the, the hour is mostly that you're not doing anything else. So you can like kind one of, eye here, one yeah. eye there. Yeah. Um, so Vesner sees at some point, like through the, as this conversation is happening, they start to, f uh, Lord of Soto starts to float toward the opposite side. I will remind you the bar is a horseshoe shaped bar. And on one side of the horseshoe is the door that you walked through and you know there's a door on the other side. Lord of Soto starts to float through that. And, um, but before, like as they, oh, hey. Um, as, as they float toward that door, the catatonic Goliath turns and looks at your door. And you see both uh, you see Lord of Soto stop, and then quickly the other Goliath, who had started to go walk with Lord of Soto, stops as well. And you hear um, the bartender say, Yeah, some wealthy folks from out of town rented a private room. Oh, we might be on their radar. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know who they are. And... Um, I'm going Andrew. to cast Disguise Self. Yeah. Andrew, um... Can I do that without breaking the... N the yo, that, that will that will break the attunement uh, attempt, so... Um, if you'd say... We could, we could go down the could, hatch. We could go down... Just hide under the floor. Andrew, uh, first... Can you roll a... Um, can you roll a deception check for this bartender, since he is a bit of your creation, and... Uh, you can do so with advantage. Can I ask oh. how long it's been? Uh, let's call it 25 minutes. Oh, oh boy. Uh, right, let me roll again. Ooh, okay. Since I have advantage and lying is one of the two things I'm good at, uh, he will... Old Iron Tooth rolls a 26. Yes! They all nod. Uh, kind of at the same time and float back toward the opposite door uh, on this horseshoe bar. The opposite door that you all went in, they float over to that door, the door open, and they float into it and close the door behind them. Nice, your bartender's working right out there, flute. <laughs> he's dancing. <laughs> he's, he's, he's throwing his he's, he's, he on the bar? <laughs> yeah, he's throwing his ass in a circle. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, there's so much ass out there. Uh, so what's the move? Um, 
There's we're just definitely waiting. He, we're just he's waiting not leaving. For... He went into a different private room. He this went into a quiet. different private room, okay. but he is now a... not in the main area. I have a question. Yeah. When we leave, are we doing it through the front door or are we going down through the secret exit? I think I if we, we walk out of this watching. bar with Ventress with us, it's going to be a bit of a to do. Well, he doesn't have to be Ventress quite then, I, or we can just sneak out. Or what I'm saying is, we can just go under the floorboards and just wait down there, just hang out, let him attune, and then uh, toodly toddly, we're off. Toodly toddly. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll yeah. keep watching just in case anything changes out there. Uh, let's yeah. just wait. Let's go down and just wait under the ground. And this has nothing to do with the fact that as a moon boy, I feel more comfortable in a burrow-like scenario. Yeah, cool. let's go. Sure, right. pull in the ground. Let's say unless cool. something ch changes, we'll go out the back. Okay, yeah. so let's go. Let's let's at least go into the hatch and like close it after us and finish our tuning down there. Sure. All right. Besson is going to flutter over to the other door. Okay. Uh, so all of you are going in the hatch. Uh, Aldous yeah. will not. He's like, I need, I am the one who, I should be here. I should walk out of this door. It should be a thing that I walk out of this door. So sure. what if, what if that mind plays scans your brain? Well, um, he's like, you gave us your ring. Maybe you should leave now. I, yes, I think I will make a move for the door now. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Now is the time. He's in the other room. Yes. Boogie. He's, and don't stop for anything. He looks at you and goes, Good luck. You too. I hope to see you again. You as well. We will talk about city planning. No. <laughs> and he puts, his he puts his finger to the four rings tattooed on his forehead and touches them and points at you and nods and then floats away and uh, you hear him like as you go out like shut the door and he's like I am tooth you beautiful and it just kind of like starts to be his voracious self and floats just out the front door seemingly without issue um, okay. and you all are underground Talon will go with you as well um and you're under you're down there it's i mean this a it's a weird tunnel it like clearly has been built out with like uh wood different like <clears throat> generations of like wooden stones and pillars like enforcing it as like some have caved in here and there but this is clearly nearly hand dug in some way it's just like a crude tunnel of sorts um and you can very easily kind of like find the edges of it and like pull it up and then it has rope on the inside for you to pull the slat back over and if you're with the slat on there and underground here um you can still hear after sitting here for another uh 25 minutes so you're close you're close there but not quite there with this attunement you hear a loud banging sound that sounds like a knock on the door and it's not the bartender knocking. Like Sorry, that's I'm, clear. I, it's heavy. I'm not okay. So it's not at the it'll... not at the not at the floor door. The up. It's, it's like a party muffled. room door. Yeah. Bessner. Yeah. I'm going to take a glance through Bessner's eyes. Uh, one of the Goliaths is standing at the door there, and Iron Tooth is busying himself. The bartender with like glasses, kind of like going through some stock, like. Looking away. I think the moon boy is still trying He's to figure out door. what, if anything, the relationship between these Goliaths and this critter is. Is there anything he might have gleaned? Well, uh, we can't even see it. All we know right, is right, what right. Kai tells mm -hmm. us. Yeah, it you seems can. Like you can roll like a, mind you controlling can, them. You can roll a history like check. You can roll a history right. check or an Arcana check. I will tell you, it's a hard DC. You got to get a twenty or above to get uh, any piece of information. Twenty-five will get you more, but uh, twenty will get you something. So the Moon Boy is here, and he's pacing, and he's thinking about the things that he's read and uh, the frightening legends he's heard about the how the mind flares will 
wake your brain up and then your head will hatch and your brain will literally crawl out and run away and all these horror stories and uh and he casts guidance on himself oh he's doing this <laughs> I love he's it. going to roll a freaking history yeah again you just hear like another like very solid knock at the door it's just the Max. one goliath by himself too i mean there's no one home. guys not if that door opens it's going knocking. to get very dark down here i'm, pre- I don't I'm like preparing a, a 26 preparing a spell i've rolled 26? a 26 wow okay. what, what the hell is your what's your history bonus I rolled a 19 on the die. I have a plus three history, and I rolled a four on that guidance, baby. Look at that. That's how you get a high number. Um, Mind flayers are known for <coughs> being able to take over people's minds in different ways. There's a few of them. The one Moon Boy is familiar with is in having their bodies ingest another creature in some way, shape, or form to take over it. And um, the the duplication, like Kai described to you that they both look not just similar, but exactly the same. Yeah. It's troublesome to you because you have also heard of other creatures that can imitate other creatures. Does that Uh, make sense? So not necessarily related to mind flayers, but you know of creatures that can imitate other creatures too. Yeah. So these are so these are clearly thrall of the mind flare in some yeah fashion. But I also blurt out to the others that they also could be um, shapeshifters, shape changes. Uh, yes. Oh, both of the things you said are right. Well, and just for the the uh, the question for the DM, this hatch that we went down. When it's shut, it looks like the floor, right? Or does it look like a hatch? 100%. You didn't notice it at all when you all walked in. Great. What do we so, do? Do we just wait? Um, can I... I mean, what, we got 10 minutes? Can we got about 10 minutes here. Is there, is there a way to um, try and secure this this hatch so they can't open it from that side? Uh... Like you said, there was some some kind of rope that we pulled it shut. Is there something we can rig? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can do a do an investigation check. If you, I imagine the rope, it, like there are rope handles to it. You could definitely tie something through the rope. You have to find something to tie it to. So you absolutely can do that. Sure. Wind dragon. What if you? What if you did like? A, what if you did? <laughs> it's nine. <laughs> Nine? Yeah, it's, I mean, like, this is, like, literally an earthen tunnel. So yeah. you can imagine yourself holding it down, but that's about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Um, what if you, like, threw your voice or something or did, like, a, a bit of bardic magic? I don't have say something. magic that throws my voice. I could send a message in his head, but I think that'll freak him out. Yes, that sounds like there's already somebody in there. If he I can send a me- mental occupado. message to a creature. Oh, I can't see him, so never mind. I'm just going to keep watching through Bessner and wait for something to happen. Yeah, we let's um, wait with we, should stay, we should stay quiet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But if that uh, I'm going to I'm going to use my here. chameleon carapace and just try and blend into the this the tube. Yeah, if you're tunnel just running. Um, yeah. okay. Uh, uh preparing then you... uh, the darkness spell but not triggering it. Okay, cool. Um as you all are kind of like on the edge here, kind of like you're hearing this knock, you're whispering to each other, and then there's kind of like the keep it down. You can see click like <laughs> into the background, like a couple of like whispers from your compatriots, like trying to like maybe ready spells. And you hear the voice. I told you I've been thinking about this character. You hear the voice of the bartender say, Hey, they paid for the room too. They don't want to talk. Leave them alone. And Andrew, uh, you and I are going to make contested checks. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make an intimidation. Iron Tooth. Iron Tooth. 
I'm gonna <laughs> add my intimidation to it, and you're gonna add um, your persuasion to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you add your skill to Iron Teeth <clears throat> because of. But we can't. I'm presuming we probably can't help. No. No. Cool. No. Okay. I rolled dirty twenty. Ugh. All right. I also rolled a dirty twenty. <laughs> <again. All right. laughs> Ty goes to the player. Let's do it again. All right. Do it again. Oh, oh, again. Oh. All right. This time I only got a thirteen. Oh, bad news for you, friend. I got a twenty-two. There it All is. Right. There he is. Woo! Uh, Ugh, best bartender, Bester. worth every penny. Hell yeah! Seriously, tip your bartenders. Um, what, did you tip tip, what did you give him? <laughs> He gave you gave him like multiple gold. Give him ten right? gold for yeah. Um, yeah. Malibu yeah. rum, like two Malibu rums. <laughs> oh, that's right. So much he, money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th- there is a little bit that goes in here that's like it's not like he was a fan. He's like a pretty true neutral character. That's how he gets sure. by here. But he respects a he'll, he'll put yeah. his neck out a little bit for somebody who rolls. Tip. In yeah, it's just re- good real life advice. Tip your bartender, good things will happen. <laughs> Truly, I promise. So, nice. so, yeah, you see this moment of uh, him just kind of casually shrugging it off and not looking too... He's not staring him down. He's just, like, leave him alone. And the Goliath, like, looks over at him. Doesn't say anything. And then he just walks back around the horseshoe bar. And with that, you can sit there another ten minutes and be attuned to this ring because they left you alone. There's a couple rolls there. Great. That was Great. Big stuff, everybody. So <laughs> Anyone who... Yeah, anyone who says there's no action in, in RP is wrong. It's, al- so. it's, always so, it's always so strange when you uh, when you um, you feel like you won a big battle because you sat there and did nothing, and you were yeah. quiet. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> that's like, yes! the best strategy. <laughs> Truly. All right. Um, All right, to the docks. We'll see. To so the docks. Be, yeah. I, I would like to say uh, the Moon Boy, uh, as we traverse this passage, he's going to... <laughs> spit in his hands, glowing spit, and wipe it on his eyes, and he will cast Detect Magic. Uh, and I will also be flying out front with my Air Moon Boys and uh, glowing with the light cantrip. Cool, yeah. Um, the yeah. the, uh, the not-optional aspect that if you're flying, the light cantrip is is happening. I just love that. Um, you're a little so, yeah. lantern. He's the little lantern. <laughs> Hmm. I love like tiny gnome flying through a tunnel lit up too, guiding you through this. And it's with that you can see very well in this tunnel, and it, and it takes a little bit of like hunching. You can't move at, you can't run down it. Uh, but Moon Boy is just you're having a, you all are having a hard time keeping up, especially like I'm, Click and Kai who are. I'm watching for a traps. bit larger. I'm watching for magic taller. signatures down here, uh, and I think you guys get a little a little peek at what Moon Boy looks like. Uh, when he's mooning around, you know, you get you get a look at like, oh, he, uh, you know, this seems right. This guy spelunked a crater or two. Mooning around. <laughs> mooning around. Uh, uh, the the uh, whole time we're walking in this tunnel, I'm going to give Kai every tip on lying that I've ever picked up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to be babbling every every uh, trick I, I, I picked up. I will up. do my best impression of Ventress. <laughs> this is the I, worst. Uh, I will take up the rear and uh, use dark vision to spot around behind us and try and uh, make sure we don't get jumped. Sure. Um, yeah. There, I mean, you can. T- I'm not going to make you roll for it because there's truly nothing in this tunnel. Uh, yeah. It is a, a thing that is just... maintained. Like you see, maybe a critter or two, uh, like <laughs> like and just kind of oh, like yeah. dive down I the hole and murder its ass. <laughs> 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 yeah. You can, it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like she that scene in uh... she's jumpy and she will <laughs> absolutely like hawk her chachka at anything that moves. <laughs> hawk her chachka. Hot yeah, hawk yeah. a chachka. Ch- ch- it's ch- more like ch- that ch- scene in Lion King ch- where like you see something move and all of a sudden it's just like a bunch of delicious like yeah. larva oh. and things like like maybe like oh. I don't know. I, don't, I can't imagine what Click would eat down here, but I'm just trying to make something like <laughs> every yeah, grubby. Can we ta- can she'll we she'll try everything those, once. Can we talk about those bugs, though? Those bugs look delicious, those bugs. right? I would eat those bugs, yeah. Um, I would eat those bugs. I would eat those bugs. Uh, but, so um, you get to the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, you get to the end here, and there's another, like, built platform with, like, handles attached to it, too, that are clearly, like, to be lifted up. <clears throat> 
And uh, yeah, um, if you want to push it open, you actually you absolutely can. Um, Is this the end of the tunnel? Yes, this this tunnel is built for one reason and one reason only. There's no splits. Um, it's it's built for human-sized people to uh, kind of like go from that room to this place. And so, is, if you want to push it open, you can. Is Bessner still in the bar? Or did he follow us above ground? That Bessner is absolutely still in the bar, unless you have a specific. I, I once we got out of range, I would have snapped my fingers and he disappears. Oh, that's right, because uh, you can just recall the yeah. familiar yep it's not an animal companion it's a familiar okay i was thinking we shouldn't or, we shouldn't be ventress's prisoners because we'd have to get rid of our weapons so what if ventress tells them that he's holding our captain hostages for leverage so we'll do whatever yeah, he i'll wants. tell them we have an agreement i'll sound a little evil about it i'll do a voice i'll sound just like him all right uh, I've got to hand you Ventress's rapier. Uh, right, right, right. And mm-hmm. I'll uh, be like, well, I suppose if we get in trouble, now, we'll toss or it back. We wait until no, we... wait until we see the ship at least. Because if we show up in that temple and I look like Ventress, they might try to kill us. Yeah. Right. Let's right. um. Right. Let's go. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. When you when you push the top open. open. Yeah. So when you push the top open here, you hear a holy shit, and it's um, Nyx is there with her uh, step stack of armor kind of like piled up uh next to a small cot and you can see, uh, like as you all kind of like top like moon boy goes flying out of this hole this like glowing <laughs> moon uh gnome I and cover, we cover moon boy's eyes ah! and my eyes yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are sorry we did not know this was your bedroom uh but well, we had to go this way so, uh, in case you didn't figure that out yes, Town's like not. it's fine it's her it's her temple she owns it it's fine do not mm-hmm. go in there. <laughs> There's a mind flare. Uh, mind flare. We have to go. We're going to the docks to s- steal a ship. <laughs> I'm going to turn into Ventress now. Is that all right? I'll practice on you. And I cast Disguise Self <laughs> on myself. And even like though you Ventress. said that to it, and, and, and uh, <laughs> Nyx is, or uh, Talon's sister Nyx, this like clearly elven-ish human um person like pales she just like oh she still like does not enjoy seeing you your your body change into this right. tall so I turn into ventress elf. in his meridian tract clothes yeah um is he injured yeah so he's going the two spots where i hit him with the uh, Firebolt, when I killed him, they're all, like, burned out. He's got scars on his face and stuff. Okay. Cool. And he looks all messed up. But he's freaking He's got, guy. like, part of his head is, like, shaved. Like, there was, like, a, he's got, like, surgical scars. <laughs> nice. He's kind oh, of man. cyberpunk Ventress. He's, like, mm. yeah, he's all, like, evil cyberpunk <clears throat> Ventress. Sick. Yeah. Like clearly has gone through a like an explosion, you know. Something like yeah, even his clothes are yeah. like different. Like he's been through the ringer, and now he's like wayfaring Ventress. Arc and two like, Ventress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Arc two. Yeah, Talon's sister Nix looks at you all and is like, "Well, go out that way. Don't go out into the con- the temple. They'll scare the shit out of the people in there." Let's um, decide go- before before yeah, we go out. What I do. <laughs> Let's decide before we go out what our relationship is to Ventress. Figure out I'm what Chucky them. does. That's right. Okay. What's the what's the blackmail? I forgot their captain <coughs> held hostage. Right. So Goliathan's ca- held captive. By him, we have to do everything he Want tells to come us to do. With me and do <laughs> as I say. <laughs> Was he this Rickman? I feel like the He's, Rickman. I'm doing my own interpretation of Ventress. If we run into uh, a, a mind play, we should. Harlan doesn't go, you know, doesn't go full on impression of his voices, <laughs> but I do. It's more of an interpretation, right? A, a, it's a an interpretation sort of, of sure. Ventress <laughs> rather than an impression of Harlan. You're an, you're an auteur. <laughs> Yeah, Nix is like cover. maybe with a head cold. I can I can see. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, whoa, whoa, shout out to Case for throwing up that Ventress art. Oh, wow, yeah. nice. That's a, I love it. Thank you, Case. It's so good. It's I love deep, that art so much. It, when you said Next that, it like, made me a little afraid. It was great. Um, yeah, <laughs> so Nick, Nick's in, says to tell him, like, if you're driving, you know how to get him to where you're going? She's like, yes, I know. Um, and they kind of like nod at each other. And she's like, don't die, little sister. And she, and she just like waves her mechanical arm at her. And she looks at you all and is like, remember, you promised me. She'll, I say, don't you'll worry. You'll bring her back. This is my real form. And then I walk <laughs> out the door. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her hand in her, in her face, her face in her hands. And she's like, good luck. Um, and <laughs> don't find I, I will put my hand on Nix's shoulder and say, like, as genuinely and as humanly as Click can possibly summon through a jock strap on her face. <laughs> She said, I will return your sister to you safely. Like, yeah, there's this, this click, this yeah. uh, mangled it's, speech. It's creepy. Then, she's tall. Yeah. She's higher. Yeah. It's You're hearing the clicks first, and then as warmly as she can muster, it's, we'll this return your voice. sister to yeah. you. Yeah. She, yeah, she looks you right in your, your eyes, and she nods. It's just like, I... I trust you all, because she, she does, and she's not that bad of a judge of character, and um, so she's like, go, don't, don't let them leave you. Don't dawdle, click. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, isn't he? He's scary, right? Um, and with that, you all can kind of like you realize that you're you're coming out into just a sort of alleyway that is going to bring you back into the main strip. You can see the the demon slayer from where you are when you come back in, down the street. It's about four, <coughs> maybe five buildings down uh, from this temple. And I'm gonna the stop temple- when we see the demon slayer, and I'm gonna like stare at it and be like, "I like that bar. I don't know why, <laughs> but I like it." <laughs> I'd stop. I'd stop by again. Me Good. too. <laughs> I like the bar. And we're gonna cut to break here in just a second, as you all are gonna head through town and go approach the docks and see what you see. But before we do, Moon Boy, could you roll a perception check for me? Absolutely. Oh, I love to roll perception. I even know where it is in my mm. app. Doesn't make me feel watched at all. <laughs> <laughs> Super safe and good. That is going to be. If any of you all have 19. proficiency, if you all, if any of you all have a pr- proficiency in religion, you can also roll, but only if you are proficient in it. That was a nineteen. Um, Moonboy with a nineteen. I did not take. There is this this building that you just walked out of is pretty clearly a temple it kind of like has a bell tower uh it has like kind of big regal doors to it and it's built of this white stone that has just a fraction of a glow to it that is not there's no symbol there's no immediate recognition but it just strikes something within moon boy that is like the moon has been here. Whoa. Moon. Lu- Luna moon fumes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been struck with Luna moon fumes. Mm-hmm. We're doing it. We're, we're on the right path. Um, cool. Well, with that, we're going we're gonna to cut to break here. We're going to drink. We're going to pee. We're going to drink pee. But first... We have a very special th- thing for you today. We have um, <clears throat> we had a, an amazing fan, Uncle Brenner, sixty four, in the chat right now. Thanks for yeah. staying up late with us. Gave Jordan Dahl an amazing homemade present. Um, and Jordan, do you have them within? I do. I mean, reach. I've got you want to show them up? Do, do, okay. I, I want artifacts. Well, we're, we're going to play fan artifice. Oh my God. Why do we not call it? <laughs> we're going to play the, uh, we made a little tribute video to uh, our first kind of like fan actual constructed art here. 
But um, I would also like to reveal my uh, gift that I got <laughs> for our game that was also made by Uncle Brenner. Yeah. So Jordan, <laughs> why don't why I'm opening this box? Why don't okay. you show everybody what was made for you, and then I'll so, get this rolling. A couple of weeks ago, I received a uh, I received a package in the mail, and upon Look at that opening box. it, was uh, presented by very own. <laughs> oh my god. Of Air Moon Boy shoes, complete with a uh, message from Woosh on the inside. <laughs> Congratulations on your new Air Moon Boys. Now Valerie, Cyrus, Talon, and even Windrider will think you're the coolest. Awesome. So good. The fact that you Very put in sweet. a he he put in a note from Woosh. Really? So so because uh, I heard on the outlines on the features. Amazing. Letter from the artist. Yeah. And of course. <laughs> it's so good. The sneaks themselves. Look at these things. Oh man. So good. Hype beast. That's so the sweet. Moon. That's where you And then check them this out. Hold up. Let's go ahead and pop these lights off, shall we? They they glow in the dark. Sorry, mm. I couldn't. I couldn't keep my mouth shut. Could it do it? I do it's it. happening. Now, now it's dark, so I can't. Uh, there it is. Oh my Somebody God. do bats. Somebody do Look bats. Look at him! Amazing! Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Uncle Brenner, Look they're so sweet. This. Look at this. Hang on, hold up. I'm gonna turn the other one on too, because when you have both of them on in the darkness, <laughs> it's it's pure moon magic. Look at this, Uncle Brenner. Those are my laces. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, they're so good. They're so good. Amazing. Uh, Best fan art in the game. Very yeah. good. I would like to add. Fan add art? I, Come on. I, I would like to add another thing to the <laughs> list of best fan art in the game. Are you all ready <laughs> for this? Yeah. Are you all ready for this? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I can't. I can't hold on. Is that oh, Goliathan's yes. cowboy oh, head? My god. Oh it's, my god. It's what exactly the... right. Look at it. It's exactly oh, right. It's perfect. <laughs> it's incredible. so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Man, I love it. Oh, Our, the uh, captain of your ship's cowboy hat. It's exactly right. <laughs> I have to say, it's so good. I looked on the internet for in the so wild. long. Wow. Trying to find a hat that fit right for Halloween, and I couldn't find one that fit right. But this is perfect. Best part, it has a tag on it that says uh, "Property of Goliathan" on it. So good. So that, really impressive. There is a, Just top notch. Yeah, it's very good. There's all kinds of little touches that are uh, just real top notch uh, stuff. Thank you so much, Uncle Brennan. You're the best. Yeah, I can't Thanks wait so to get so much. Well, well in underwear. <laughs> you're just gonna get you're just gonna get a wig in an envelope <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I get one of those every week <laughs> alright guys all right. if you wanna uh, roll the, the fun video and then we'll, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna come right back and the crew's gonna maybe try and steal a mind flare ship we'll find out oh, on the other side see you in just a second these are moon boy's shoes holy shit <laughs> It's incredible, right? <laughs> it's so good. Congratulations on your new Air Moon Boys. Ooh, my brand new Air Moon Boys. <laughs> They're so good. Oh my God. The Moon Pumps. I'm so delighted. The moon powered constellations. It's very good. <laughs> the moon powered laces. Turbo mode. Huge shout out to Uncle Brenner. You're the moon boy now, dog. I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
Okay, hello, we're back. I put the cowboy hat away. Um, you all go back through this town that just, you know, is a big long strip. You can see all different folks kind of like milling in and about. You see, um, but it's not, it's not a, that crowded of a place. You don't see anything near any mind players walking around here. You see like another Ortling or two, kind of like like a couple of Ortlings uh, walking together, just like with like very pale white skin um, walking through, and they look at you all and they both wave, just kind of like hello, not just nicely, you know. Um, and you like because you have this moment like what? Oh, oh no, no, they're just being polite. And mm-hmm. uh, as you broach the corner here, it is immediately clear which is the new ship that has showed up. Because you see this green tinted shell, this big hump of a swirl around here at one of the closest open pools of water that has been created to be a place for spell jamming ships to land. And it's floating there, and it almost looks like a gigantic animal for a second, as you can see its tentacles all wrapped together neatly, but still poking up out on the front of the dock. And it is a nautiloid, um, a ship created for or by the Mind Flayers. You're not, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but it is, all of you have at least heard of these ships that Mind Flayers fly. Um, um, it's, it's, it, wow. I mean, just wow. before we move forward, Case, if you want to throw up um, this <laughs> original art we have from Joshua Smith of this what? nautiloid you see in front what? of you, you absolutely can. Um, as this is the the ship that you can see in front of you, and I will drop it in Roll our dis- yes. 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 I, I, yeah. I'm gonna drop it in the Discord because I I can't throw it up on Rule Twenty <coughs> uh, for reasons. Excuse me. Uh, but you're okay. about to see it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it. good. One one thing that Flute would spend this walk doing is instilling in his companions' minds the idea that they have <clears throat> to follow this man, who's Kai, if they want to see their captain again. Those are all true. Those are should be true thoughts that everyone is concentrating on. Um. Uh, mm. without without worrying about the details. They have to follow mm-hmm. this man if they want to see their captain again. And when we okay. see as soon as we see the Nautiloid, I'm giving Kai Bardic Great. inspiration. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet. Okay, yeah, uh say, same with guidance. I'm gonna cast guidance on Kai and yeah, I think I think that's the jam. Does is it that... stick around? Um Oh my god, look at this art. Yeah. So well, sweet. I'll look into I'll look into the specifics. Point being, um, I think, uh, yeah, the, <clears throat> the the impression you want to give them is that we are had, we are defeated. We know our place. We know not to cause trouble because right. then something will happen to their precious captain. You know. Right. Yes. You mm-hmm. all, my you. <laughs> you are all my prisoners. <laughs> Right, it's uh, you're doing great, and it's very. We're going to convincing. die. <laughs> we are going to die. No, don't say it. Come on. Don't say it. it. Uh, <laughs> Talon's like, oh boy, guys. I thought. <laughs> Remember, the less I've seen you, you kick say, so much ass. I guess I haven't seen you all lie before. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> you don't have to. Remember, you don't have to answer their questions. You're above them. Right. 
Um, as we're walking, I'm gonna take my translator off. Um, okay. Just to to cut off my line of communication uh, with I think that's a good common move. folk. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna remove my translator and I'll tuck it tuck it away in a pack. Okay. All cool. clips. Yes. Yeah. Bug moving. It's bug time. I um, can understand you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, don't I don't really click back. <laughs> I don't really have any way to prep. I think the moon boy is hiccuping. I think light is shooting out of his ears and nostrils every so often. We've got this. I know. Talon's like, more. remember, we we need to steal the ship. So find the helm. She says, it's we don't gotta kill everybody. We just gotta find the helm first. Didn't we get, like, a blueprint? So don't we know where the helm is? Wasn't that... Didn't um, Max give us one of those? She talked about it, but it didn't... It kind of didn't get pressed. Um, oh, so... Shit, you're right. Sorry. Uh, uh, that's all right. Okay. We missed that. Right. Um, that's okay. We, we'll find it. <clears throat> We've got Wind Rider. I thought it got uploaded to the map. Oh, Yeah. That uh, I think that was kind of a that was kind of a macro map. That was the galaxy map, the map of the stars or the planet that, my, system. That's my bird, my confusion. <laughs> then, um, <laughs> then we don't need this map. map. Then what if, is this map? Ventress could just order the the, the the spell jammer who's on board the ship to take us down there. Yes, he could do that. Well, well maybe he could get to the hell. If we get we to the need... helm, Talon can jam it, and then maybe we she can, like, to jam. release all of the oxygen or something on the <clears> spaceship <throat> and jettison everyone out to their deaths, he says, well, oddly, I, cheerfully. I, I breathe oxygen. I might be the only one in this group, but... <laughs> no, no, no. You'll be in the helm. You'll be in the jam deck watching the, well, the mass murder, I suppose. You should be prepared <laughs> for anything. Yes. Um, right. As you all walk up close to the ship, you can see the tentacles are just the very tips of them are wrapped around kind of like posts that hold up this piece of the dock that goes up to the water that this nautiloid ship is parked in. And it's just like, you can see from it, this is a battleship. There's two open decks that you can see from where you are. There's no clear way onto the ship just from peeking at it, but there are two decks that are kind of like stacked here and here that have at least four ballistas that you can see. There's the edge of like a catapult on one of the top decks that you can just see like peeking out the trebuchet like elbow of it. And the freakiest part, I mean, at least to Talon, I don't know about you all, is there are just like two clear red eyes that don't seem to be moving, but are on either side of the ship itself. Oh. And you see next to where the tentacles are wrapped around posts right here, like docking it, are two uh, fish with legs is the easiest way to describe them. They have on clothes as well, like they're clearly humanoids, but they're both holding uh, metal spears and um, have on these kind of like draping purple robes. And they are purple fish themselves as well with like kind of like dangles here and there, um, like fins coming off of the back and big yellow eyes, each of them. And <laughs> That's they're a trap. just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're talking back and forth to each other and they're just like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> do they look like, like they clearly here? arguing with each other do they look what like they walk up like i mean it <laughs> i'm sorry what was the what was the question jordan do they look like they work here they look like absolutely yes, yeah okay. absolutely yeah sure, sure, sure. um okay. yeah you're going to walk up to him and mean it kind of what what are you saying uh, to these this two this is where this is when i cast guidance on him i give him okay. a little on the back of the calf. Go get him, Chad. Go get him. Um, I mean, I assume this is our first encounter to get let onto the ship, so yeah. I'm walking up like I belong there with these guys Absolutely. behind me. That's a fair assumption. Um, they, if you, are you Wait, saying anything to can I do one thing them? before I walk up? Yeah. Before sure. we get up there? I'm being I'm very cast, nice. oh, I'm going to cast <laughs> Enhance Ability. <laughs> on myself okay. and enhance uh, my charisma and you can be disguised 
I can do hey. both of those things. Okay, cool. I trust you. Um, Let me double check. Let's just make <clears> sure. <throat> Take, take a second to look at the rules. Sometimes it matters, doesn't it, Andrew? I'm Tomorrow. pretty sure that disguise self. I'm not narking them out this time. Concept. I'm not even looking it up. <laughs> I did my narc for the day with the attunements, so now I'm done. Not, <laughs> disguise self doesn't take concentration. Okay. It just lasts cool. for an hour. Cool. Great. Um, <laughs> so you walk up to these folks, these two fish. Uh, humanoids who are clearly kind of like arguing. One of them is like, oh, oh, and like pushes the other one a little bit, and the other one's like <laughs> holding his head. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Um, and desert doofuses. We got a real, uh, got a real Harry and Marv on our yeah. hands here. <laughs> what are you? What are you saying to them, secret Ventress? Are they? Are they stopping us? There is no clear way to walk directly onto the ship. We're here for the ship. They both turn and look at you and they say, I'm really sorry. And they look at you and kind of like squint their eyes and it seems like they don't speak uh, common. Uh, do, you, do you speak under common by chance? I do not personally speak under common. However, <laughs> I am an intuitive <laughs> linguist. That's ah. right. How long does that take you? Does it say anywhere in the rules? It's just a thing I can do on the fly. I have to make an arcana check. Uh, all right, make an arcana check then. You See have you guidance. Yes, and your bardic am... inspiration. Make it a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Bango right. bongo, bango flango. The DM decides the DC. I I set that DC. Um, <clears throat> it, it is it is not the most difficult as. They kind of like get the gist of it, and they're like, they say back to you, "You're not the captain. You didn't even leave the ship. Why should we listen to you?" They both say, just like being very direct. I'm just gonna stare him down. Be like, do you dare question Ventress fish thing? <laughs> they both kind of like go like that, and they they look at each other, and they're like. I thought you were a regal elf. Don't you look? You look quite messed up. You don't look regal at all. <laughs> I bristle. Uh, well, <laughs> a roll to bristle. You can roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can roll a deception check here. Absolutely. Deception <clears throat> with advantage. <laughs> I mean, Natural <laughs> twenty. Whoa! Holy shit. Ah, Super Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can somebody clip that moment of of mm -hmm. Aaron going Super Saiyan there? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Don't worry. The natural 20. It gets better. I, I rolled uh, 2d20. I rolled with disadvantage, and I rolled a natural 20 both times. Oh. What? And they have a plus zero to their modifier, so oh you still gosh. beat them, Shit. even though all three of us rolled natural twenties. So Ooh, that's um, weird, right? That's weird. That's crazy. This feels spooky. Uh, they that's both look spooky. at you and they're like, "Oh, hey, oh, get the, oh, we do," and they both go, oh, 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 oh. and they like like yell and like gobble a bit, and um, <clears throat> you see silence. A small purple head, like, float over to the edge here, and the, sh the tentacles pull themselves against the dock, and you feel the dock strain, and you see the ship tar start to sink underwater a bit more, and the lip of the closest banister on this ship that you can see lowers itself, like the ship goes underwater enough to be aligned Crazy. with the dock here, and you see... Looking right back at you, it's a, a very tall, thin, like sleekly dressed in black mind flayer. And all, in all of your minds, you hear, who are you? And he's looking That's... only he's in this like black beady eyes. He's only looking at you, uh, Kai, and he but looks at you and goes, "You wouldn't be able to hear it in my mind." Also, the, you're wearing the ring. 
Um, does it? I think it, it's mind shielding. I don't. I don't, I, I don't have the stats I, for the ring. It it doesn't um it doesn't stop you from telepathy. I think it stops your mind from being probed. I'll uh, look it up right so, now. Go ahead, though. Yeah, ring of mind shielding. I got it. Cool. Oh, viciously typing. I love it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. While, wear, while wearing this ring, you're immune to magic that allows other creatures to read your thoughts, determine whether you are lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Creatures can telepath telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. There we go. You can use an action um, to cause the ring to become invisible. <laughs> so does that mean I can sense it trying to communicate with me telepathically? Yes. And you can just like <clears throat> allow these words allow into your it. brain if you yeah. Um but I will speak. I don't know. I'm uh, uh, your I'm performance sure. of your voice can translate into your telepathic voice i am i'm comfortable with that as i'm gonna talk out loud because that's a fucking yeah. power play on a mind play <laughs> that is sure. a huge power move <laughs> okay now okay. we're having this conversation <laughs> I'm just we, don't know, we don't know if ventress can speak or wait does the mind player give you a bridge to speak telepathically back yeah I think um, you, you don't really know him, right? okay. yeah so um if he knocks on the door you can what what do you say what do you say back to kai what, what did he ask again? He asked, who are you? Who are yeah. you? I am Ventress, true lord of the Meridian Tract. And I'm here to transport myself and my companions, I say disdainfully, <laughs> to the planet's surface. Uh, he looks at you and he's like, You are dead. It has been told to us that Got you are it. dead. Yeah. Many have been deceived. Um, it's going to try and cast detect thoughts on you. And you can feel it press kind of like, you can feel like almost like a warmth on your hand. It's the, the magic of the ring. I can feel it happening. Yeah, like, like, presses back against it, and he says, in your mind again, It is just like you to not let us in. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a step forward and be like, I am no fodder to prod. <gasps> uh, you can now make a deception check with advantage. One, because of your power play, and that's super cool. Um, but two, because you, because Rachel is hiding in her hood. That's the other reason. <laughs> uh, yeah. I also have enhanceability. Do yeah, I get no. double advantage? No, no double advantage. Double yeah. advantage. Does That's that bad. Exist? First roll's real bad, everybody. Okay. Second roll is much, much, much better. Great. Ugh. Dirty 20. What was the I first roll? I also got a dirty first 20, so let's three. both roll one more time. Let's both roll huh. one more time, because I so also So do I get to roll 20. with advantage on this one? Yes, sure. Well, wait, wait, you do have yeah. Bardic Inspiration, which is a Oh, D8. I do have Bardic. I would... You could also yeah, save it. I, I, whatever. Uh, you would blow that, right? Like, I, I already told I would, you the result, yeah, I but blow. I feel like you yeah. would blow that. Yeah, I yeah. was going to say, you already told me the results. So oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but but I, I know that you would blow that. I know that well enough. So this is a very important roll. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> How much is your bardic inspiration? Well, you can't. He already told you the results, so I don't think you can use okay. it. No, I, no I'm, I think I think we're. I'm, I'm cool with him using it because I, I shouted it out immediately and I forgot that you even had the chance. Yeah, so I feel like cool. that's. Um, and I, I trust that this is not something that you would hold that back on. Uh, it's a two. Um, so I rolled a seven on that. Okay, okay. cool. Um, he says. In your, all of your minds, come aboard and we will discuss terms. And he just floating off of the ground turns and floats away from you into the interior of the ship. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the moon boy. As soon as he walks, as soon, yeah, as soon as he walks away, the moon boy 
a little trickle of blood comes out of his nose and he wipes it away. <laughs> Um, remember, we have to follow him if we want to see the captain again. I'm terrified. I sort of turn around and give a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I... Yeah, let's um, go. I will give uh, Kai Bardic Inspiration again. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> clap him on the shoulder and be like, it's good. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're gonna Don't touch me, great. worm. <laughs> right. Uh, so, if you all want to, Casey, if you'd be able to throw up the combat map here, I don't, you know, no misnomers here. I'm just saying that you all are inside of the ship and you can see this first layer that you are upon. As oh, he, yeah. uh, if you want to check out Roll 20 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, so, this map is so sweet. It's so sweet. Oh my God. Josh Bartell is amazing. Uh, got Josh this done. Smith. Just Josh Smith. Smith, yeah, sorry. Jason, Jason Wardell, Wardell is amazing. amazing. Sweet music. <laughs> Josh Smith is also yeah. amazing. Uh, if you could help me out here and uh, kind of handle your tokens Goodness. and put them oh, as... Oh, it's so good. Uh, wow, I'm gonna, we're huge. I'm a little behind. Oh, yeah, go. sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, it's as, kind of, as a lot like, could have happened tonight, and I had a lot prepared. So It looks like a scary face, kind of. I'm going to stay yes. within uh, sword-catching mm -hmm. range of Kai, wherever Kai's going. So, yeah, stay, on my, stay on my sword side. Yeah. So you can just draw. Are they like, are they, do they grow these ships? Uh, are they don't organic? Don't that. worry. Yeah. I'll, uh, are I'll they organic or it. are they like uh, metal? Well, I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give you, I'll give you, I'll give you all this. Yeah, I'll give you all this. As you will walk into the, uh, this part How of the ship. How fleshy you, is it? That's oh, <laughs> a question. It is. It gets dark so quick. As you walk in, you can see um, these fish humanoids are standing at each of the uh, the ballistas that you can see here. There's there's one of them manning each, and they're standing kind of with this same dead look that the Goliath in the bar had, just staring straight ahead at each of these ballistas that you can see on the map here. Um, that and. So yeah, it's it's pulled down the cusp of this ship's bridge here. You all walk in and you come in and you see uh, different humanoids all about. There's like humans. There's these this these fish people. Um, there's a um, like a couple of dwarves fixing things. But around you is just all like dark. Uh, it almost looks like you're underground as you step in, as it clearly has been made to block out the light. But uh, there's still a red glow from different things built into the wall. So you're just walking into this dark cavern as you're following this mind flayer in. And it's going to lead you right to a set of stairs that uh, if you follow him up, you're going to come straight up this stairs stairway that you can see on the map here and um, just be right at the top of here. So I'm gonna God. I'm gonna spread spread you, you all out dwarves? just for the uh, yeah there are dwarves on this ship here I'm gonna spread you all out just for the the sake of um, this of roll twenty right now but I can you all can take liberties if we do end up going into combat on exactly where you are. Oh God, we dread it. You sm it smells like it smells like someone's making tuna salad in a hockey <clears throat> glove. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to throw down uh, a token for the... It smells like somebody dropped a bunch of shrimp cocktail at a God Brothers. <laughs> uh, just to be clear, this Mind Flare uh, is not Lord of Soto. No, no this no. Mind Flare is not Lord of Soto. That is correct. Um, and... So yeah, okay, yeah, you all you have stepped in this room. And you're like higher up than you were before as you follow him in. Just like now in this like dim red light darkness of this room. And when you get to the top of the stairs here, you can see uh, this is kind of like the interior of the shell. This is like the closest inner area, and it's uh, the first layer that you walked into is very much like a straightforward kind of like room hallway feeling. But when you step into here, it's it's lit by uh, what are clearly the the eyes that you saw before, um, the light coming through them and kind of just filling this area with a reddish glow. And you can see 
Um, I'm going to just go ahead in case this might mess with you, and I'm sorry as this map is a little complicated, but that's because it's a complicated fight. If you end up fighting, you know, who knows if you will or not. But um, you can see that there are multiple layers to the room that you are currently in. So if you, uh, in the area I just revealed here, you can see that there's another walkway up that seems um, like a, a way to walk higher up in the ship and it presses against the shell that is you saw from the outside. It seems to be some sort of lookout as there's also a red glow of light coming from the top there. Um, and kind of toward the back of the ship here is what looks like a two level uh, walk up with like a ladder that goes up and then up to another walk out and you can just see um, a blue glow coming from up there like magic is happening from the very two story up walk out that is above your heads um, so you see all that you walk in and this mind flayer looks at you Kai who is secretly dressed as Ventress and he goes all right, Ventress, what do you ask of us in your your brain? And um, if you all, now if you want to do anything, you can. If you want to do perception checks, look for anything in particular, you can, like, in this moment of, like, being to... brought into here. Yeah, is there any way to intuit, like, what, seeing the layout where the helm might be? Absolutely. You can roll a perception check, or you can also roll an arcana check. I think you know enough about just, like... Um, yeah, jammers in general to be able to do this. Uh, anybody else want to kind of like roll, looking for anything while he's doing um, that as you've been brought into this scene? So Just, the uh, only perception? that we've seen, we've seen dwarves on the ship, and we've seen the fish folk, and then there's the mind flayer. Is is the beings that are on the ship right now? Uh, yeah. So that was kind of in the lower floor. You and Flute yeah. can both do perception checks to kind of like. Okay. Uh, flute out of fear and click out of combat instincts, kind of like read the room here. I got a 21. Uh, um, 19. Cool. There is a, with a 21 and a 19, there is a, another mind flayer standing on this kind of like raised bridge here. So just, to, just so you all know, <coughs> these side-by-side -side images are all in the same room. Um, they are just kind of like represented um, as you can walk under here or you can kind of like go up in this area. So Kai is also kind of like here too. Um, so it's like the, like the, this, this part on the right is all like a balcony type yes, of thing? Yes, it, it's a balcony. And these these areas are stacked. Got yeah, it. this is one open room where there are different layers stacked upon here. Um, there is also a kind of like cloaked figure who you can't tell. Uh, well, what you got over a 20. Um, it seems to be wriggling in a way that doesn't quite make sense with a humanoid form. And that being <laughs> is uh, over here. To so, sell. Like wriggling this. humanoid. Great. Wriggle, wriggling. Wriggling. Jiggling. So, another mind flare. A wriggling humanoid. Well, do the mind players are. Does it does it seem like it's moving like a mind player or something different? Moving um, like a mind flare. It, you got over twenty, so I'll tell you it seems like something different. Okay. Okay. Um, and Maybe then like a pre player. Kai, what did you get? I got a nineteen. A nineteen. The blue glow that you saw above you on the highest layer seems like the type of arcane energy that would come with a spell jammer helm. So, okay, so I'm going to reveal the last layer here and, you know, I would say don't, uh, know that you don't know exactly what is on this map, what, is, what you can see, but I just want to give you the full idea of the layers that are in this room. So you can see here, uh, um, I want to catch Talon's gaze and just sort of look up at there. Okay, that... so this this one all the way to the right right is the room with the helm, presumably. Uh, yeah, I mean they're, they're all the same room. They're different layers uh, of right, the right, same right, room. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna go up. What's the height uh, difference between now. the between the I floor and now. the ceiling and the, th oh. the third third floor? I see. Each each layer is twenty feet above the other. Okay. 
Um, and I'm also going to make a little slash here on where the ladders are located. Um, as incredible. I assume you would want to know that. Yeah. So, uh, okay. so, yes, I did make this fight as complicated as possible. That is, I'm that is correct. I'm scared. If <laughs> we fuck brain. up any of these rolls, we talk. will be dying on, on this ship. It's not gonna, a fight yet. <laughs> I'm going to successfully talk our way through there with my plus... To yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I just wanted to give you. Again. you I just wanted to give you the full and I have advantage on all my No, no, no! Damage. It's wonderful. And honestly, now that I can see them all and I understand what's going on, it's uh, I have a new appreciation for it. This is an incredible map. We have a shot. Yeah, jo Joshua uh, truly blew me out of the water with what it's I asked amazing. him to do and what he ended up giving me. Is this is yeah, just really amazing? Cool. So. This is so sweet. Okay, so that all happened sort of in the moment of being led here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've you caught me off guard as a DM about being able to get in here so smoothly. I had a couple of encounters I'm <laughs> prepared that you have walked by. So Listen. where you are right now is in the middle of this ship, and you can see at least three entities. Two of them are mind players right now. Yeah, but one of them just asked you what it is that you wanted them. Yeah, yeah, and and referred to you as Ventress. <clears throat> Where's Lord Soto? Gallivanting, carousing. <laughs> We've no time to wait for him. I must reach the planet's surface immediately. <laughs> he says, We do not leave without Lord Soto. Well, when will he return? He has business with on the planet. We adhere to his wishes with that. It will take mere moments. You'll be back by the time he's completed his whatever it is he's doing. Um. <laughs> I want you to do an insight check right now, and it's it's a high it's a high DC. It's a, another twenty DC insight check, but mm. I still want you to do it. Uh, don't have advantage on this one. You do have bardic inspiration, though. Um, okay. I got a 15. Let's hope I roll high on bardic inspiration. I rolled a 7. Cool. 22. Woo! Uh, it's hard to know an aberration who is speaking with you telepathically feels nervous but with your ability to kind of like understand languages and pick up the tones pretty quickly there's something here that he is not telling you that he is feeling uncomfortable with like you can just feel it in your mind it's just straight up intuition even though he's speaking to you very dryly Speak plainly. Um, and when you say that, you hear a booming voice come out from above you all. Uh -oh. uh, and it's, again, in your heads. It is in your heads, but you can still hear it as a booming voice. And you hear, Soto is not the captain of this ship. I am the captain of this ship. <laughs> Jordan's and face. Um, <laughs> please be a little mind flayer in a big cowboy hat. <laughs> you know what? This cow this this mind flayer did not have a cowboy hat before this moment, but since I have a cowboy hat, <laughs> he's got a mind okay. He's got a proverbial cowboy hat. Mm. All Absolutely. captains have cowboy hats. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um. You see floating down from the stairway that is um, over here, uh, next to kind of like where Moonboy is on the map, this like purple mark. Uh, it's like ladder to ladder, but the Mind Flayer does not uh, like descend on the ladder. He descends like next to the ladder as he is levitating. And he comes down, like the voice comes from above you. It comes down the ladder. It kind of like moves over and you can see the shape moving and moving. You can see the hat poking out from uh atop the platform and then comes down another ladder and then lands right next to you moon boy and it is 
all the others are dressed in like very sleek, regal, uh, <laughs> like robes. And this one is as well, but is wearing kind of like shoulder pads, I guess they are. Like, I don't know what the military kind of like uh, things Patrons. are called, like tassels Epilets. that come. It's epaulets. Oh. Look at that. Um, and I can't hold on. I can't do the hat and the headphones at the same time. Hold on. <laughs> um, Too much. It's too much. Uh, Over accessorized. You have now. You have a hat on your soul, cowboy hat, on your soul. Thank you. But um, he floats down next to you all, and he says, "I am the captain of the ship." In his mind, with like tentacles hanging, these things do not have mouths that you can see and are not speaking out of their mouths. They're just speaking into all of your heads. And he says, "This is the crew of the Dinger." What are you doing with them, Ventress? They are mine now. And... Roll for initiative. <laughs> Not yet. Not uh, quite Andrew, yet. You, you are familiar with the Detect Thoughts roll. Or yes. Detect Thoughts spell. Um, I'm, I'm looking at it here. So they can get the surface thoughts of a creature for free without the creature making any saves or doing anything, except Kai, who has the ring. But if they probe deeper, then we get a save, and we also know that they're doing it. Okay, but the save can stop them from getting in your mind, right? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the rules yes. as fast as I can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but if they, but if you fail to save, they really get into the um, crannies. They get a wisdom saving throw, uh, and either either they fail or succeed, they know that you're in their their mind. It'll okay. Sort of, if, it's, uh, if it fails, the spells end. Yeah. Okay. I'll sort of walk over and you get you find out its emotional state and something that looms large in its mind, such as something it worries over, loves, or hates. Okay. Um, so, I think with your with your prepping, it's gonna get away. It's gonna be able. You're gonna be able to circumvent the surface level thoughts there, but it is going to probe deeper into Click's mind. So that coming. Oh no. Click. If you could make a Wisdom saving throw, that mm -hmm. would be great. The DC is yeah. fifteen. I'm gonna sort of move ha! over and. Well. It's a six. Oh, <laughs> God! <laughs> well, we don't know. Um, yeah, I know I rolled that's badly. His <laughs> DC. <laughs> It's okay. Maybe he's a really shitty mind flare. Listen, this Maybe. was always this it's was also always like can depends I, on what he wants to probe and what Click is even thinking about. Uh, yeah, can maybe I, Click's wait, thinking about I, nice crypt speech reads. This isn't this isn't psychic damage. I can't nope. really. No, it's no uh, damage. Yeah. I should have written. You don't have any like side shield. I know. I'm thing. looking at. I'm looking at the omnipathy engine to see. I if should have put something for this do. in there, but I didn't. There is not. I gotta design better items. Um, and I don't I was have trying to anything. make it all balanced. And I mean, what I think would be looming large in Click's mind <laughs> is balanced. that she needs to follow this well, man if she wants to. See got you out of surface thoughts. Again. It got you out of surface <laughs> thoughts for sure. I. Uh, I, I mean, Click's priority in any mission like this is protect the team, protect the team, protect the team, protect the team. So that isn't necessarily a lie, <laughs> and isn't real necessarily out of um, out of whack with what's happening right now. She doesn't like it. Certainly doesn't like a guy in her brain. Not into that. Um, the captain says. To you, click. He turns away from you, Secret Ventress, and he goes, This just tentacled face that is, as it gets close to you, you can see that there is just like slime covering every inch of it. Like it's just very well moisturized. Uh. And 
it leans down toward you with its just like very sleek, nothing close to a hair uh, forehead right down in front of you. And it goes, without moving at all, just straight into your mind, goes, What are you here for? Hmm. So he's asking me this while probing my thoughts. Is that the. That's the thing? You can feel that he is inside of your mind, yes. Yeah. We're trying to get back to our ship. We're trying to get back to our captain. Whatever we have to do to get there, that's what we have to do. Uh, Roll a deception check. Oh, that's so much better. Um, What's my deception? It is. (laughs) It's a minus one. Uh, I got a 15. Um, Great. Uh, It got a 21. Oh, yeah. But it it only gets to to dive in once, and then she gets to make a contested intelligence check at each new time he tries to pick a new thought out of her brain. It's not diving this time. Okay. Last time it dived, this time it was going for it was okay. it was just right. looking yeah. for trying to get more information and you see all of its tentacles on its face rise up and just start to reach toward your face and all like it seems yep. like everyone in the room turns and looks at you all no! and um it is like we are going to jump straight into initiative here as it is clear yeah. to click immediately that she is under pressure and yep. she's being attacked. So yep. you all got very, very far. Oh, um, man. Oh, okay. I'm not a good liar. That's okay. <laughs> it's not your fault. This was always this was always part of the plan. If I could, I should have done something to intimidate. Intimidation's a much better role for a click. And you know what? I'm going to call the episode right here. We're going to pick no! up. Oh, yes! We're calling it a little early. Okay. okay. We're calling That's it a little fine. early. Oh, my God. We're, but we're picking it up here next week. I'm not even gonna have you roll. We're gonna start an initiative. I'm gonna have you roll. Did this go bad or good? I can't tell. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're, we're, bad. In, we're in combat with two mind flayers. That can't be good. Oh, right? three mind flayers <laughs> and a mystery bundle of writhing and shit <laughs> and a bunch bundle. of fish creatures and some dwarves. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> this fine. I feel fine. <laughs> well, I got a 20 I initiative. I think that's the name of the episode. This fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's definitely we I feel like it's definitely a mind player walked into a bar, right? You all oh, yeah. thought of that joke outside of the last. <laughs> that was, that was oh, sure. I don't God. know. Let's right. do um, it. I need it. Yeah, mm, if you all want to, if you all want to roll initiative, and you don't have to give it to me right now, but just like send it to me as we can, so we can just start off nah, next session. Let's, let's right give it to you right now. Here. Do it. Um, I got a twenty. I got a twenty. I got a nine. I got a nineteen. We're that spend is the these best last I have moments. rolled in. I have rolled in initiative order, and I am Ooh. still last. It is a seventeen. <laughs> seventeen though, still we're quick. Flute, did you say you got a twenty-three? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I'm going to roll for Talon. Oh, sorry, 22, 22. 22, all right. Okay, I'm not going to make us do everything else right now. I'm going to call it. That's that's the session, everybody, but man. Oh, God. Boo. That was good, though. I mean. I think it went well. We got on the ship. We, got we on didn't the ship. have two combats, so there was I mean, what do we think was going to happen? We were going to have a well, fight. There's always I mean, I guess I thought they were we just going to... We could have battled them in small batches. I guess it was always an option that we'll talk it... <laughs> I guess it was always an option that we'll just talk our way through so well yeah. that they'll just take That's what us I was there. Hoping, but but we I sort gonna, of assumed yeah. that this is kind of oh. what's going to happen. Yeah, it was definitely... The t- I would say it, was, it would be very difficult to smooth talk a bunch of mind flayers into... <laughs> taking you onto their very especially, protected home planet. But I would say it was definitely on the table crew. and you got very far too. We could our have done crew's it. charisma is all like one, like well, zero. No, no, no. <laughs> like, cause, cause, we are not no, a charismatic monster. Flu- flutes is through the roof. If we if we yeah, could have had if we could if we could have had flute do it, we might have 
I mean, we might have gotten yeah. further. Yeah. But what the some hell? Of it, I did fine. No, he did great. <laughs> he did great. No, they he just, did great. they just. I'm just saying, he's the nuclear option as far as. As soon as they were gonna RP start goes. probing the rest of us, we were fucked. There was yeah, no at way. Some point, at some point, somebody was gonna stick a tentacle in somebody's mind, and we were gonna have to, yeah. uh, you know. Start I genuinely was like, I should just be invisible. Some mollusks, baby. That's Man. fine. All right. I, We're I level can't seven. tell you. We are dangerous as well. I chickened out. I was gonna cast bestow curse on that captain when he walked by me, and I fucking chickened out. <gasps> I'm sick of making the rash oh, no. moves. I was gonna give him disadvantage on all of his wisdom uh, ability <sighs> checks and saves, and he would well, not have known that I did it because right? bestow curse doesn't trigger. Uh, Why in the did person. you do it? I chickened out. I didn't want to do because I was like, what if it. I don't know. I was like, I'm not gonna. I'm not. What if because Kai's crushing it? Sure. Kai's crushing it. Why would I fuck yeah. up the this train yeah. with a with a spell? I'm not gonna do it. Absolutely, Kai, you did great. Somebody was gonna mm. get mine so, yeah. at some yeah. point. Not to take us too long here, but that was, I think, the hardest session I've ever DM'd in this game because I just watched like whole sessions flash before my eyes as you yeah, all did things yeah. and like strategized and stuff. It was very good. It was very fun. Um, this is we a teamed that good. shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you think, all changed I the campaign it went, constantly. Actually, but... I mean, it feels painful right now. No, no le legitimately, we're we're, uh, we're we're on the ship. If we can take control of this ship, like the the plan is a go is green. Yeah. You know, this is the plan is still green right now. This is all. There, there. We're not locked in here with them. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. locked in here with us. All right. I well, so. oh, <laughs> we'll find out next time. Oh, I'm very gosh. excited. They this start is definitely going to be the biggest one by one. I am. I'm not convinced that we will finish this fight next time. Like it's going right. to be. This is the biggest <laughs> fight we've done so far for sure. So, all right. Bring, um, bring I guess stop talking. Lays, lays Papa bowls, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, can't stop extra special those. double header today only. With double episode. I wish, but man, we, we gotta we gotta give a shout out to Jason Wardell who crushed it on the keys tonight. Yeah. Crushed, crushed their soundtrack. Um, to Joshua Smith who made this uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous Nautiloid that is oh, both original so cool. and. Oh, man. So we better we'll... be in this thing for three episodes because they're <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. And uh, we didn't uh, we didn't get to see the monster that I made for this Not episode. Yet. So I know <laughs> it's that was still damn out there somewhere. It it definitely is. Um, uh, I know. I'm, I'm sorry that that art reveal yikes. didn't happen, but I'm well, you happy take, for you all. That you could take happen, a week so. and make it wetter. Remember, he was saying, <laughs> "I didn't want it to be wetter." <laughs> take a week and make it wetter. Wait. <laughs> Uh, wetter Harlan, than we need heroes. Art for battle pie next wetter time. than heroes. <laughs> wetter than okay. heroes. Shut up. Right. Shut your mouth. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Who oh, me? God. <laughs> wetter what? than heroes. Hilarious. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm gonna pour ice buckets on all of y'all. Uh, <laughs> Shout out. We to all them. just we all just do a whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> so good, wetter man. than heroes. It happens in July. Shout out to Big Top. Big Top. Big Top. For making it Big happen, top. everybody. I think I see old Big Top in chat there, too. What up? Oh, whoa. Big oh, Top. Right. Yeah. yeah, I saw Thanks for coming to hang out. Yeah, baby. Thanks for making the art, the soundtrack, the wonderful direction of the stream from Case possible. Big Top makes and... it all possible, baby. Yeah. And yeah. one more time for uh, the other member of our team who makes it possible, Case Drury of Tiny Woo! Productions, uh, running the stream. We appreciate it so much. And thank you guys for hanging out with us. What an insane episode. Next week is going to be um, All great. combat. Uh, we're going to start arc three, and it's going to be a four Mind Flayer party. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> It'll be the I stuff of legend either Shit. way. Shit. I meant to cast summon elementals too and now i can't yeah well, maybe, the fight, <laughs> maybe the fight will take 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody i'm ready oh <laughs> when your all right good. case get us out of here uh Love yeah I'm, oh yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna rate us if you all are hanging out and you want to watch a little bit more D, &D oh, yeah. uh, we're gonna raid into our some of our D, &D buddies twitch channel right here they're playing comma D, &D. jordan comma D, &D. 
Yeah, yeah. comedy, the word comedy, and D. And we're going to raid on over there. Uh, this is a uh, show run by uh, Kevin O'Shea, who's a dude, a uh, very funny comedian out of San Francisco. And he uh, has he all of great. your favorite comedic guests on. And they, they do a whole goof around time. And uh, go check them out. Let's go check them out right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go check him out right now, uh, as we as I do it as I'm currently doing it. We're doing it right now. We're gonna do it for them, and we're gonna start the raid. Case you wanna roll the credits, we'll see oh, y'all next gonna, week. This Hang is out. gonna blow their, their minds, stuff. guys. <laughs> Stargazer, Moon Boy, Click the Crusher, Kai, Amelia, Chef. And the wind rider flute whim teaser. They're better than heroes.